Hello friends, welcome back to Cool ID Help. This is AutoWid Basic Concepts Tutorial Part 3. And the agenda is very straightforward. Here we are going to learn how to declare the arrays and how to iterate over the arrays using for loop in AutoWid script writing. Let's begin. The process is very simple. I will explain everything here in this tutorial session. Let me expand this notepad. I have written the syntax for that. First, we will understand the declaration of arrays. This is very simple. As you have declared arrays in the other programming languages, the syntax is little bit different, but the concept is same here. To declare the array, we need array name starting with the dollar sign. Then we have to use this square bracket and inside the square bracket, you need to give the size of the array that simple so this is the declaration and this is the local var variable so this is the scope if you have seen my first tutorial on basic concepts of auto it definitely you will be aware of that okay guys now moving further we will see how many types of data types it can store so first i want to tell you this will here we don't need to specify the data type of this array. We are simply going to store the different types of uh, data types here in the uh, array as elements. You can see at the index 0 we have stored the string, at the index 1 we have stored the integer number, at the index 2 we have stored the float values. So you can see this array can hold the different types of data types. So you can store different types of values here in the single array. I hope this is clear to you. Okay, now moving further. So in the next uh, se section, we will see how to iterate over the arrays. Now you have just stored the values. Now you want to uh, traverse or you want to iterate over the arrays. So we will see how to do it. For this purpose, we are going to use for loop. And I hope you guys are familiar about the for loop syntax. Okay, for traversing over the array, we uh, need to write this for keyword. After that, we need one variable. Okay, and uh, this is little bit similar to the for advanced for loop if you have used in Java. Okay, this is this is just same uh, one variable. After that in keyword and the array name this is simple you can choose any name of your variable so I have for suppose I have just selected the name where here then the keyword in after that the name of the array this is in keyword in this this is the name of the array which I have declared at the top of this notepad this is simple this is simple syntax but you have to learn one time variable after that in keyword after that the name of the array okay that's it and in between we are doing some concatenation stuff here and we are storing all those array elements values and concatenating and after that storing in the string variable which I have declared local and this is at the rate CRLF is the uh, line change because I'm concatenating all those elements and those elements will be concatenated with line change when I will print these then all these values will be displayed in single column I will show you what kind of output we will achieve by using this CRLF. So you can see, and this is the uh, last thing for completion of the for loop. You, you need to use this next keyword to complete the for loop. Okay, now we are done. And the, finally, I'm using a message box to print our output. So after concatenation and the result will be printed through this message box. 
here we have the second parameter which is the title of that mesh box okay and the, this is the another concatenation stuff a static string which is result is and then crlf after that what is the result or what is the concatenated string okay from this line i hope this uh, syntax is clear now i'm going to copy this and i'm going to open the editor the script editor there we will run this script okay let me paste it okay few uh, more comments are there i'm uh, removing those comments not required and uh, you can see this line we just declared after that we stored four different elements in the array and uh, we have one uh, local uh, stria variable which i am using to store the concatenation result and using the message box to print that result that's all okay uh, script is ready now i'm going to save it and i will run it so to run this uh, script runner is required here we go just going to select this and click here okay so finally we got uh, one error um, because of uh, one uh, small point we missed here we need to change uh, the variable name uh, which was previously element and uh, we have just used var in place of element so i need to replace this as well so okay now correction is done okay this is the variable which are going to read the arrays elements one by one okay change is done now we are ready to run it again and uh, opening uh, the script runner again here we go open okay we got the results see here on this small message box all results uh, coming in a single column because of we have used the at the rate crlf means i have used the line change so the concatenation happened after appending the line change okay if you remove this you will get the different output let me show you this thing so i have just removed that crlf okay now the script saved now going to run it again run a script here we go okay see this result there is no crlf there is no line change and uh, the concatenated output is in single line so all uh, elements are concatenated together and printed here on the message box so guys this is the way you can declare and store the uh, values in the arrays and you can iterate over the array using the for loop i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to learn more please watch my next tutorial there we will discuss a few more basic concepts of auto script writing i hope to see you there till then bye bye